Hello again, it's Lock Noob, and I have an absolute beast of a lock here. I think it weighs about three kilograms. It's, yeah, um, I don't know what that is in uh, in, in pounds, about seven pounds. It's, it's really heavy. This was sent to me kindly by the amazing Talan Pick, uh, all the way from Spain, and it's it's a heck of a thing. These these are residential door locks, by the way. They're, they're not like a commercial lock. Uh, this one, this... Dier, I think it's either six or seven levers I always get um, mixed up. When we gut it later, we'll see. Um, it says here as their motto, can you see that? Your home, your life, uh, Dier. Um, and it is a, a real beast. Um, it's got some four bolts, which obviously locking bolts for the door, plus these um, things that come out either side. Um, which I imagine are part of a multi-point locking system for a door so that you um, can uh, retract other locking points in your home. The key is really awesome. Look at that. I love these uh, these keys like this. And um, they are, it's slightly offset. I don't know whether you can see there, um, but you've got this side a little thicker. That means you can only insert the key one way, which I think is like that. And then it's got um, if I move it there so you can just see, you have to throw the bolt four times. One, two, two three, four. Hope that wasn't too loud on the old um, uh, speakers there for you. But yeah, it's, 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 it really is an amazing thing. Now, I am going to try and pick this, but I'm only going to pick it if you'll forgive me just the once. Trust me, it's enough. Why? Well, you need a lot of tension on this. It's got tapered fences on the on the levers. So you end up having to pick each of the levers multiple times uh, to, 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 well, to get them to set, really. Um, this tensioner was made for me by uh, another YouTuber, uh, Baldy Locks. He's a, an amazing tool maker. Uh, as well as Picker and a really nice chap as well. You might wonder what on earth is all of this? Well, he <laughs> stupidly, he made this to my exact specification, um, but I'm an idiot, so he probably shouldn't have listened to me. What I didn't realize is that all of this is flatted off so that I was thinking that I could put a lever wire like this along the, the top, like I would in a, in a standard um, a lever lock. But if you do that with the amount of tension on this lock, you end up, uh, it ends up slipping up into uh, the, the keyway either side. So the only way to do it is I put some uh, epoxy, uh, it's, uh, like a two-part epoxy putty on here, and then put a bit of, um, well, see it's completely worn off now, um, um, a, a bit of shrink tubing on there just to bulk that out. And weirdly, it works. It looks awful, but it works. If um, if only I'd ask, um, ask Baldilocks to 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 leave this hole not flat this off like a, a normal tensioner I would have been fine what I'm going to do is actually just a uh, uh, snap and, and break away and, and file this um, uh, putty off anyway once I've done this video because it's actually a really 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 great tension tool and will probably work in a load of other locks um, so yeah uh, thank you to both Talapic already and Baldy Locks for helping me out with this uh, awesome lock look I think the best thing I can do is throw this in um, a vise, pick it, and then we can gut it and we'll actually see how many levers there are in there. Um, I always miscount my levers anyway, so, uh, and the way that you pick this, you don't really have to care what lever you're on, so you just have to fool your way through the lock. So anyway, let me throw it in a vise, let's pick it, and then, um, yeah, we'll, we'll gut it and see what's inside. See you in a second. Okay, so we're in two vise to keep the whole assembly off the tabletop. I've got tension, which you can see. Hopefully we'll have a look inside. Remember we've got tapered, sort of not quite V-shape fences on the levers, which means that um, as you move them up against the bolt stump, they bind, and then as you move up, there's a space. Now what happens is, is that it'll, the bolt stump will either join back up to the, uh, uh, the, the lever fence, or it'll skip to the next binding lever, if you like. Um, so you end up having to pick this lock numerous times it really is a bit of a pain like that. So you can see I've got tension on the bolt there and we're going to try and pick from this side. 
really, 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 really high tension. And we're just going to go and walk the levers up the fences in turn. That's five binding heavily. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. What you've got to bear in mind is that this will take some time, so it might not be the most enjoyable picking session you've ever seen. One, two, three, four, five, six, That's seven. Back to the front. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven there. Okay. One. One's binding. Two, three, four, five. Felt something go move there. That's good. One, two, three, four, five. One. Oh, ah, oh, just rest those hands up a minute. Yeah, it. Oh, yeah. Just um, you get real cramp on this, and I've been practicing on this earlier, so <laughs> my hands are already tired. I, I don't expect your sympathy. It's fine. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, okay. Uh, one, two, three, not quite there yet. Four, one, two, three's better now. Four, maybe. Five, six, seven, okay. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Take my time on this. One, two, four, five. Two, three. Okay. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, okay. Back to the front again. You just feel like you're walking these ever closer to the destination, but they don't always go where you want them to. Only just a, a, a little rest again. Oh, yeah, that's um, yeah, that, that, that's that's that that can be quite exhausting, I have to say. Okay. Just trying to work on these front three. Oh, there, got it. Look at that. Um, <laughs> oh, oh, do you know what? I'm just so glad that, <laughs> so glad that opened. My poor hand is absolutely, um, is gone. There you go. I've thrown it once. 
So um, I couldn't, I had to just push with the, my finger to, to get it going, but we, we threw the bolt once. <sighs> I've, honestly, to do that, uh, I think if you're doing it in the field, you probably have exactly the right tension or exactly the right um, uh, picks. Uh, that being said, that's just one. That's just one bolt throw, and you've got to do that a number of times. Um, so let me try and release this from the vise, and we'll talk about that when we actually see on the inside of this. Okay, so let's remove that. Um, if I get the key in, if I can, see how many more. So that's, that was, um, so move it. So that's one. Oh. Maybe because I didn't have the key in, I can't do it again. Okay, well, we'll, we'll, we'll gut it anyway and see what we get to. Go to a more familiar view for you. There we go, right. Let's have a look on the inside of this beast of a lock. It really is a bit of a beast, isn't it? Thank you for being so patient with me on this one. Um, actual hands like got, it had shape to begin with, trust me, for a practice session on it. And then, um, yeah, now I've got it open. Wow, it's definitely a thing, isn't it? Okay, uh, that one. I'm trying to remember where all the screw points are. And uh, need just something to get under the plate. There we go. That's meaty, isn't it? You can see that there's some lots of shielding there. I imagine all this is like hardened steel plate put in there. It's quite a quite a thing anyway. And there is the inside. Just oh, if I hold it up for you, isn't that cool? So you see all the levers in here. And what we were doing is in the keyway, of course, we were um, lifting the levers like this. There you go. And you can, you can lift it from e uh, either this side or from the, this side, which is where I was picking it. So sorry, um, this side or this side. It doesn't matter because it's a flat lifting process. And let's have a look here. You can see all these levers now. Just look at the fences here, and they are different heights depending on um, which rotation of the key you're at. So uh, you'll turn it one way, then you'll turn the next, then you turn the next. But can you see that these are tapered here? So what you're trying to do is you're trying to move this bolt up. Oh, let's pick it up again. Trying to lift that. Um, lift, lift these levers up so that that bolt is pressing against them. So these are the fences, this is the gate. And the bolt itself has slots in, which will, well, let's let's take the leaves out and you'll see. So it's not a straight through, um, it's, it's, a, it's a strange little mechanism. So these are all sprung, of course, let me put them there for you too. I thought there were seven, there's gonna be less than the three. five okay the six I always miscount I always miscount the count to seven the problem with the lever locks the way I pick them is I don't really tend to count the levers unless I absolutely have to um, I just pick the one which is binding so there you go so that's all seven of these um, the last one engages with this uh, part of the lock as well uh, so there you go, that's those. And then if I show you down here, the bolt, you can see how it's got steps on it. There you go, so each, basically for each lever, uh, the the gating is at a different height. Uh, sorry, the, the, yeah, uh, uh, based on the combination of the fences on the Leaves themselves, but also the the cuts, the slots, the different heights of the bolt stump itself. Um, you can see how this whole assembly here um, will move up and down. Look at that as you move this slider in and out. But to do that, 
um, you've got to turn this key, I think, four times. One, two, three, four. It's really, really fantastic, this lock. Um, and then, obviously, you've got this um, uh, sliding latch system, which is like a lot of uh, uh, night latches. Yeah, it's so cool. Well, that's a heck of a, a lock. Thank you, Talon Pick, for sending it to me. Thank you to uh, Baldy Locks for um, sending me this, this this tensioner. Uh, even though I sort of <laughs> read a bit, made a bit of a mess of it, I'm going to file all that down and just leave the nice tensioner as it um, was originally. Um, but it did help me get into this beautiful lock. Uh, so thank you so much. I, I love a community effort like that. It's a really fantastic thing, and I'll see you all next time.